In other news, the Jerusalem District Court has agreed yesterday to alter Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's corruption charges in case 4000, a.k.a. the Bezik affair. The change is now reflecting an alleged give-or-take relationship between Prime Minister Netanyahu and Shaul and Iris Elovich. But joining us now to explain is Ariel Kahana, senior diplomatic correspondent with Israel Hayom News. Ariel, thank you so much for being with us now. What are the big changes in Netanyahu's corruption charges then? Hi, Aaron. Thanks for having me. So basically, is, is, um, there are no changes in the story that uh, uh, that already is, uh, was said against Netanyahu from the beginning. The, the change that we do see in, 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 in the new uh, uh, charges against Netanyahu is actually the details. Uh, because what happened in the beginning of the trial is that uh, Netanyahu's lawyer said, uh, you are blaming the prime minister, you are blaming Netanyahu of deeds, of actions that his wife and his, his son uh, did. And that means talking to Walla website uh, heads uh, or owners and asking for changes uh, in favor of, uh, of Netanyahu or for himself. So what Netanyahu, uh, Laura said, you cannot blame one person, you cannot blame Netanyahu, even though it's his own, his own family, you cannot blame him for what his family did. All right, so, so for... Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Well, so I was going to say, you know, how how does this, how will this affect the trial? Will it will it change the severity of the charges in any way? So that's a very good question because, from one hand, uh, the, the fact that that uh, charges had was changed, you know, it's 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 a hit uh, for the justice ministry because you know it tells us from the beginning uh, the blames were not accurate. But from the other hand, now you have a very detailed allegations against Netanyahu himself, what exactly he did uh, while talking to, to Wala owners, which are Alovich, as, as you mentioned. So it's a little bit too early, in my, in my opinion, to say uh, how exactly it will affect uh, the court or, or the, the end of the, or the, of the trial. But, uh, but um, if, if you do follow the 150 events is that now are very detailed in the new uh, charges against Netanyahu. So uh, you can see that actually, I would say uh, quite a little of all of them, of those 150, are really, uh, uh, you know, um, cases that Netanyahu made touch, was in touch with Alovich and was asking for changes that you can say are not so acceptable even in the media uh, industry. So, as I said, it goes to the both directions, and I don't know, uh, I, for me, I definitely do not know how it will affect the, the end of, of the trial, uh, but, uh, but the bottom line is still that, that they had to change uh, the blames against him, and, you know, as a beginning, for the beginning of the trial, I would say it doesn't, include, doesn't look so good, but again, you know, we have to wait, and it will take probably years, we have to wait to the end and see well, what, the, what well, the judges will say. Well, so with that in mind, I guess my final question is what is on everybody's mind. You know, how is this going to impact the Likud's and Netanyahu's re-election? Okay, I, I think that, uh, since we are going to the fourth elections now, I think we, we, we already know the answer. Netanyahu, even in the worst day he has, is not falling from 60 uh, seats, 60 mandates in, in the Knesset. Uh, so it, it's quite known now, after two years of legal process, it, it's, the, it's, it's quite known how it will affect. Netanyahu has his numbers. It's about at least 30, maybe 35, uh, and maybe no, maybe more, because in the end of, of uh, or actually in the day of the elections, we in Israel will probably, uh, after the corona uh, uh, pandemic, uh, which probably we, we can assume uh, the public will vote for Netanyahu uh, as, a, as, as it is his achievement. Well, so uh, in, in any case, just sorry, last lesson about yeah. that. In any case, we, we already know how does the legal process, how does uh, it comes out in, in the polls. It will be very interesting to see how that will affect, how the trial itself will affect his campaign. Until then, thank you again, Ariel. Thank you.